can feel your belly, cause it's like a jelly. I can feel the belly. Woo! Sweet diner divine. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> the right crunch. Now then guys, how we doing? Back on the road again. Oh, oh and today, me and cameraman, we've gone over the hills, all right? Not too far, far away, but over the hills, and we've come to Denton in Manchester because you've been saying to me, Danny, you need to go to this place, right, called Sweet Diner. Apparently, the burgers, shakes, fries, desserts, they do a lot here, and apparently it's absolutely banging. So, do you know what? I'm thinking to myself, I'm missing America, I'm missing the sunshine, I'm missing the burgers. Let's go see if we've got something similar in Manchester. So, sweet diner, here comes Fat Dan to make sure he can fill his belly because he is the man. Let's have you. Sweet diner, yes. Boom, boom, boom. They sell the burgers and the chips. They do, they do. Sweet diner, dancing. Boom, boom, boom. You were gonna see if we can fill the belly. You can, you can. <laughs> Right guys, so we're on our way, we're in Denton, we're, we're looking for Sweet Diner. Like I said, this place is, is supposed to be absolutely bang on for the burgers, the waffles, the desserts, the shakes, all sorts. So, I, you know, I've got a taste of America, I've got a taste of burgers and desserts and milkshakes and, you know, I think, to be fair, we might be stepping ahead in this game, the UK, we might be stepping it up. So, let's find... Sweet Diner. Oh, it's here, look. Sweet Diner mine. <laughs> this is it. Let's go turn down here. We'll get pulled up. Home of burgers, waffles and shakes, it says. We're going to shake a shake a shake a shake a baby. Right, I'll just pull up here. Cameraman will sneak on here. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> if we get a ticket, all right, then you'll have to pay for it. Right, so we're here. Sweet Diner. Home of the burgers, shakes and waffles, it says, outside. Let's go see if they can fill the fat man up. Come on, let's have you. Oh, right, guys. Oh, oh. Out of the van he jumps, into the diner he bumps. <laughs> yes, cameraman, I'm singing daft songs because I'm hungry, I'm ready to go. I want to fill my belly with some jelly. Woohoo! Yeah, my belly's like jelly, let me tell you. I can feel your belly, cause it's like a jelly. I can feel the belly. Woo! Right, here we go. My trusty steed. We've got you. We've got this, my friend. Oh, right. Lock it up. And here we go. Sweet dope. Bit of tall Willy Wonka here. Hey up, Willy, my old cocker. How you doing? <laughs> right, let's go see what's going on in Sweet Diner. Come on. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka. So guys, it's looking like this place is an old pub being converted, so uh, sweet diner. Let's go see if he can fill my sweet belly of mine. Come on. Right, look, whoa. Right, so I've been recommended to come down. Alright. There's loads on this menu, isn't there? Yeah. I don't want I don't want breakfast. Hey, look, I'm wrecking joint with my chair here. What do you recommend? What's best? The Dirty Don is quite popular at the moment. It was an old burger of the month, but it was that popular we did add it to the menu. Right. Also, the beefy biscoff, that's good. Beefy biscoff? Because that's right. got biscoff crumbs and beef in there. So what? It's like sweet and savoury. That cameraman, yeah, sweet and savoury. Right. Well, I'll try one of each of them then, please, because I like a dirty donner. Well, I like donner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'll try the beefy biscoff, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, what about size? What about fries? Say one of the loaded, so the morning after that's loaded with keema and natural cheese, or the let's go for lunch that's chicken and natural cheese with peppers. That's Come on, let's nice. go for lunch. <laughs> I like that. Let's go for lunch. And then I've been told that the shakes are good. Yeah, the shakes are really good. What have we got here then? Oh, look at all them. Oh, there's a few there, isn't there? Yeah, there's loads. They're all just as nice as each other as well. Oh, that stands out straight out of Denton. Straight out of Denton. Straight out of Denton. Can I have three more yes, please. And that'll do, thank you. Everything? Yep. Card, uh, card, please. £37. Yep, no worries. Thank, thank you. you very much. Do you need a copy of your receipt? Uh, yes, please. Oh, let's look at all this reducing straws. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tip my table and chair outside. Is, is it, if, can you, you want to bring it out for yeah, us then? Yeah, That's great. I'm going to set up my own little setup, you see. Thank you, love. Right, guys. Let's go get set up. Look how nice it is in here. I should set it up in here. I shouldn't have, but Cameron wants me to go out in freezing cold. So come on, let's go. Let's go get set up. <laughs> now, although it's early, it's just opened, right? And there's not many people in there. It smells delicious. They're cooking away in there. It smells great. So come on, let's get this set up. Or oh, am I hungry? I am hungry for a burger. Burger, burger, burger and shake. <laughs> so I've got the shake straight out of Denton. So straight away, obviously, when we're doing that American tour, it just reminded me of that. Straight out of Compton. Hey up. Oh. Right, there we go, cameraman. Get set up here. My table and chair sorted. Bosh. Right. Oh, I'm going to sit here. Reason being is, right outside of my mate with the Wonka. <laughs> and I quite like that. Right, chair test, guys. Here we go. Knacker crackers away. Bosh. Oh, we're just about in there, cameraman. We all right? See my mate Willie? Yeah? He's a right wonka. <laughs> hey, oh, boy. <laughs> hey, oh. Wow! He's flying here. <laughs> hey, that lad. Woo, stay down there, cash on me, Tom. <laughs> Go on, lad. Right, so, me saying come here, it has got a lot of desserts. And I thought, do you know what? I've come to try burgers, but those desserts do look good. There's loads of shakes on there, but you've got, I think there's about eight or nine different burgers to choose from. Loaded fries, it does look good, and shakes. And there's breakfast items as well, if you fancy a bit of breakfast. So, it's a bit late for breakfast now. Lunchtime. Lunchtime for me, cameraman. So get ready, you can have my scraps. <laughs> We dine at a vine, boom, boom, boom. What a song, what a song to be banging it to. Let's have it. So I'm waiting for it now. So what did you have when you come here, remember? Yeah, I had the waffles and that. I brought the kids here, the kids liked it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That sort of stuff is generation, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah, well, I think that's what, what it is. Places like this, that the, the generation of kids growing up now, this is what they want. It's like yeah. the American dream of love it, don't waffles it. and milkshakes and then putting, putting sweet stuff inside burgers. I know, and the yeah. sweet pizzas and all that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I've well, got to be honest with you, it's growing on me. I've been it? trying it, yeah, it's been good. So. Yeah, I've got to crack on. No worries, no. mate, no worries. See you later, mate, have a good one. Ah, so that old bloke there, he works, he's, working, he's just saying he's working in an house across the road. So he's, he's, he said he saw it back at the van and thought, I'm going to have to go see if that's in Perch.com. corner. <laughs> Stop dribbling. <laughs> you can have some, mate. Uh, so, cameraman, he just put camera down and he says, he, li he like the look of that menu. He says it's right up his street with burgers and fries and shakes. So, he does get jealous sometimes when I'm doing this, you know what I mean? I've got to be honest with you. And if I were holding camera, I don't think I could hack it, to be fair. <laughs> it's a good job he's a bit slimmer than me, isn't it? Oh, so it's a busy place, this, you know, Tom Denton. Eh? Straight out of Denton. What's that? The boys' brigade over there, look. Little clubs and dance. Eh? It's all going on round here, isn't it? Eh? It's all going on. So, oh. cut that number plate. Mad. There's a number plate up there in somebody's car. Mad. That's why I need up back at van. I'm a bit mad. I've gone a bit crazy, me, over the last. Uh, few months. I think it was in America with some when, when me and Caraman were on Venice Beach lifting weights. Well, should I say you were lifting weights? I won't. The only way I were lifting with my arm and a burger. <laughs> oh, so, do you know what? I want something like this doing on my wall at home. I'd love to find somebody that could come. You know, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I want Hogwarts on my wall in lounge. Get somebody to come spray it on. So if there's any graffiti artists out there, yeah, get in touch. Yeah, look at that. That is a right piece of work. That has he got has he left his name like or do you reckon they've got somebody to do it? Side at pub here. Or is it somebody that were order order a few quid? They probably still locked it cellar down here. Didn't realise I'm sat out cellar. And I hope that's there's a dog muck on the floor or something down here. <laughs> it's it's getting that time of year and all cameraman. Uddies, isn't it? Uddies. So let me I'll let you into a secret guys. We're currently talking uh, 
with us designing to get some more merch on site as well. We're going to get some new designs done, especially hoodies. Yeah, when it gets cold, you know me, I like my hoodie on. Cover my fat head up. <laughs> my ears get cold, it's because they're that big. Like, like Dumbo, these. Just when I have my hair cut. When I go bald outside. Oh, that's what I don't like about winter, when that winter breeze blows on my bald head. It's cold. Bit of sunshine now, come on. Slamming down, smacking me in the face. I can't see what I'm doing. It's reflecting off at the table. Look, I'm going to get sunburn. <laughs> Right, mate, you can come through. You don't, you don't have to walk down. Two lots of red and a pineapple. <laughs> I think you had a pineapple. You've got an house plant. I'm thinking, you know, you know, we're waiting for food. Thinking we should like get a snakes and ladders board put on top of the table as a tablecloth. Man, you can play snakes and ladders. I used to love playing that game when I was a kid. Me and our kid, our Teddy, my brother, <laughs> Don't Teddy. We used to play snakes and ladders. And I used to be like, one, two, three, oh, what's that? 10, 12, 13, straight down snake for him. <laughs> oh, I don't say I used to cheat all the time. So, but he'll tell you, our kid, so... Obviously, for birthdays, you used to get a bit of money when you were younger, didn't you? A, bit, a few quid it card. And I once made a 2p machine, you know, like what you get down at Seaside. And I made it out of cardboard. Basically, I had a cardboard thing and a ruler. And I put a few 2p's on it, just sitting right, put your pounds on, you know, and you drop, drop, drop your money in our kid and we'll see if you win. And then I'll have a go and see if I win. So he'd drop his money in and I'd push it a little bit. And I'd take all his cash. And he goes on at me. All, hey, oh, pigeon, pigeon feather. He goes on at me all the time about it. And I think, what was it, about, about four or five years ago, he made one. He made one out of uh, cardboard and masking tape. And he put about two quids for two peas in it and, and he hit me for Christmas. <laughs> uh, with a belt, he put matchsticks in so it dropped down. <laughs> it was a lot better than mine. Uh, but you could still rip people off because you could just push it as hard as you wanted. Yeah, just a little story I wanted to share with you then, guys. I don't know why I went into that talking about snakes and ladders, but you know me. One minute I'm singing about cheese, next thing about pies and pasta and peas and what the Santa want. So, oh, here we go, look at this, thank you very much, thank you. Do you want any extra sauces or anything? No, I should be fine with that, well, thank you. Just give me a shout. Thank you very much, thank you. Wow, look at that milkshake. Oof. Yeah, look at that, bits of banana there. Oh, right, let's get it all out. Let's get it. See, even put your knife and fork in, cameraman, what's all that about? Don't want you have it knife and fork here. Right, what's this? What's this here? Hey, up. Oh. Well, I hope she put a waffle in. That'll be for you, that. Uh, you can have that. We'll put that there and we'll sort that out in a bit. Right. Oh, a bit of ice cream. Uh, it's like boxes of heaven. I tell you something, I can smell it as it's coming out and it smells absolutely amazing, this. Bosh, there you go. There you go. Right. We'll put my bag down here. We'll squash it in here. So it don't blow off. Sleeve up job this, you know. Sleeve up job. Right. Table set out. Let's see what we've got here. Wow. Oh my God. I'm spinning that down for you. Look at that. That is the Lotus. That burger. It just, it looks amazing. But is it going to taste good? Is it going to be what it is on tin? Because you've got burger, meat and 
Lotus sauce by the looks of it and Lotus biscuit. Woo! Oh, dirty Johnny. Oh yes, that looks all right. Look at that. That looks like it's a bit of me, that. Oh, wow. Look at that cameraman. So when I've opened these boxes, that, it just smelt the sweetness of the lotus. This, I can smell the spiciness of the sauce, of the kebab. It smells good. Third box, box of wonders. Oh, wow. Look at them. Look at them, they look good, them don't they? Loaded fries, we've got the chicken in there, look, chips, peppers. I can actually smell, I could smell the peppers through the box. Bit of nacho cheese there, bit of coriander to finish it off. So, could I get cheese on my hand? I think that's just a bit of ice cream. Right, cameraman, I'm getting stuck in here. So we have got the straight out of, I keep wanting to say Compton, but it's straight out of Denton. Milkshake, all right, peanut butter, banana, Ice cream, fresh cream, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh. Do you know what? If you like peanuts, that is an absolute dream. Really nice, it's creamy. Full, you can taste the peanut in there, like, whoa. The peanut butter is absolutely gorgeous. And then you get a little kick of the banana. Bang on, bang on. Right, let's get into these chips, cameraman. These look good. So we've got chicken tikka peppers, fries, some fries on here, look at them, cheese, oh, it, it, you know, it smells really, really good, there's a lot of flavour in this, fresh bits of chive as well by the looks of it, right, let's go for this, oh wow, so they are what they say on the tin, they are little fries, but the thinly sliced pepper, and the chicken tikka is absolutely gorgeous. With the cheese and the coriander, this is one of those dishes where the flavour just melts into, into it. Each individual thing and then combined together. It's not far off, basically. Come on, mate. Having like a it's like curry on curry and chips <laughs> because you've got the sauciness of the cheese with a chicken tikka. It's amazing. I'm having another piece of that. That is good. That is flavoursome. Wow. Right. Let's have a drink. While we're on the spice, we're gonna go for the dirty donner. I'm gonna leave the that one while last because it's got that bit of a sweet kick to it. So if you're wondering where the waffle's gone, that's what cameraman is nabbed that. Right, here we go. The Dirty Donner Burger. Now, presentation-wise, it looks amazing. You open it up and you just get hit with the smell of the kebab, of the sauce, the peppers, and it's just, look, it's oozing and dripping with it all in there. So, get round it, so it's in a, it's in a nice bun. Let's go for it, seeded bun. All right, there's jalapenos in here as well, but those might have blown my head off this camera, man. Oh my God. Oh. Whoa, that's a spicy number. Wow. So what you've got, guys? Two smashed patties. You've got all this dirty donna meat. It's all falling out, look. You know, jalapenos, look at that. Oh, salad, cheese. The sauce is absolutely amazing. And then you've got fresh coriander. Giving that bit of freshness as you bite into it. Wow. And the bread bun, really nice. Look at that. I like that. And it is dirty. <laughs> it is what it says on the tin. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> it's uh, whoa. That half got a bit of spice to it. That whoa. Right. It's about I need ice cream to cool me down. Bit of a drink. That is good. That you know. That's a good little recipe. That I like that. Right. So here we go. 
Lotus Burger. No, Lotus, Lotus. Let's take that off. Let's get it picked up. I wonder. All right, let's have a look here. My mate, Willy Wonka would approve. <laughs> we have got, again, a nice bread bun, lightly toasted. Looks like there's a couple of patties in there. Cheese and then Biscoff sauce and Biscoff pieces. My God. Right, I'm just going to get into this because it might be messy. How weird is this? Let's go for it, cameraman. It's got right crunch. Wow. Oh, my God. No, that's not right. Look. Look at that. All right, is it all over my face? It's all over you. Is it? It's a sign of enjoying myself, that's what it is. <laughs> Have you all been here? How many you eaten? Three? I've got two burgers to try and some loaded fries. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So we've got, there's three patties in here. Look, three patties, smothered with Biscoff sauce, then Biscoff crumbs on top. Do you know what? What I'm saying is, is I, won't, I wasn't sure, I'm having another bite. Can't believe it. Beef and Biscoff. Double B. It works, and it works well. You've got the crunchiness of those Biscoff pieces, each with the sweet, and then you've got the seasoned patties, the saltiness, they're nice and caramelised. Look, been doing well on grill, I'm going to try and show you. Look at them, they've been doing well on grill them. So you've got crispy edges on your patty with the cheese. And again, it's one of those things where when the flavours are combined, all right, it, it, it is just made an absolute gem. You've got a strong cheese there reacting with that biscoff and it shouldn't work but it does it just does it goes together i'm absolutely covered with all this sweetie goodness and if i'm honest with you i don't know which dish i like the best because in their own right they're all different and full of flavor so let me have a drink and we'll go through it. And I love that. So the fries, like I said, absolutely gorgeous. Seasoned really well. They're just your basic fries. But the chi the chicken, the chicken tikka, fried up with the peppers. All right. It's got so much flavour in there. It's absolutely banging. The cheese on there, it makes it into... It is very nice, mate. Thank you. The cheese on there, it just makes it into gives it that moisture to make it into like a, a chips and curry spicy full of flavor the dirty donna that is exactly what it is it's a dirty donna burger you've got beautiful beef patties in a beautiful bun right look at this and it's just full the seasoning what they put on is absolutely second to none you've got jalapenos in there, peppers, cheese, burgers, then you've got your donna meat, the sauce, it's just oozing out, full of flavour, absolutely spectacular. Then I moved on to this, and this it, it is just something that shouldn't work. So for me, it's against the grain, putting a burger and then putting actual sweet sauce and sweet biscuits all over it, it's just, it, it's just wrong, right? But it works really well it the, the flavor combines together well the cheese on there it breaks down the biscoff it, you've got the sweetness of all this on top and then like i say you've got the caramelized bit on the burger gives it a nice crunch with a biscuit absolutely banging and i'm so glad that i had an opportunity to try that so guys if you've been here to denton all right and you've been to sweet diner let me know what you think let's not forget about the milkshake by joe banana and peanut butter whoa, 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 my, that is a beauty of mine that's a favorite of mine that so if you've been here to sweet diner let me know what you think 
if you've not been come down try it out but for me guys it's an easy solid 10 bursting with flavor each individual dish in their own right absolutely bang on i'll see you next time i'm going to crack on with my dirty donna going to have that for dessert and a bit of chicken and chips oh yes living the dream Wow.